<clears throat> All right, guys and gals, welcome on back. Case number four coming up. And we do have the bonus extra mini at the end here as well. Well, let's see if we can get something along the lines of case number three. That was a lot better than the first two there. Uh, let's see, i got to get this one here. Uh, through the lower up there, just for a little display. We'll take a look at them again. I'm sure before the end here. Case number four, coming up. Do you thank everyone again for hanging out and watching throughout the day? This is going to be a tough angle again. There we go. Yeah, but that's certainly right now, right? I mean, if, if Laura does his thing in the minors, crushes it, is tearing it up upon his rookie debut. I mean, I remember seeing an Acuna, Acuna 2017 Bowman orange autograph. I mean, I remember it was like eight, nine, twelve hundred dollars twelve hundred dollars for an Acuna orange back in the day around May. Around May of 2017, and look at where that thing's taken off since then. So, certainly got the ingredients to take off. Not already being already expensive. All right, gang. I keep throwing these messages. Sorry about that. A few minutes past the scheduled start, we are good to go for case number four. Jeff, hey buddy, welcome aboard, man. Both Jeffs, <laughs> glad to have you in, Jeff M and Jeff, both Jeff M's, doesn't matter. Oh, you guys are making this tough on me. <laughs> well, Mr. Murray, certainly appreciate the kind of words there, good sir. And, well, don't have to thank me if we don't hit for you, that's for sure. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, I forgot about those. All right. Good to go. Francis, how goes it, bud? Welcome aboard. And the other Jeff M. Always a pleasure to have new folks aboard and always welcome. Even if you guys don't get any spots, always appreciate you having some company on the break. So always a good thing to check out how the product is breaking as well if you're looking to buy a personal box. And I tell everyone, right, the best way to collect is to mix it up not only just the breaks, but buy yourself a personal box every now and then, just as much as you get into a break. And also, then, maybe the smartest method of collecting as well as individual purchases or just targeting a certain guy and collecting him. So that's another thing I tell people to make sure to do is mix up the the way you collect, not just a single... Don't want to get, I mean, I trust me, we'd love to have you guys in all the breaks, but... It makes for a better collecting experience when you kind of mix it up in that sense. Ooh. All right. That's a good color to start here. So we got good luck. Gold Refractor Prospect. Bow Base. Not the auto. Tanner Hawk Gold Refractor. 32 out of 50. Jeff, uh, Mark, M A R K, good sir. Uh, 
Indeed, good luck to all. Tanner Hawk on the Gold Refractor Prospect to start it off on the parallel here. Parallel selection. BJ, any Trey Harris? You know, no Trey Harris. We did get Michael Harris in the first batch, but we haven't seen Trey, neither on the AFL stuff or the base prospect. So he's been a guy we've been we've missed here. So we'll see if we can get him on the board for you. Oh, Richard got him in the bonus box. Starting it off with the Ricky. Very nice. And now see if we can add some color for you. Cool deal. A nice clean one on this one as well. Sometimes the surfaces get a little, little streaky or messed up, but nice and crisp on them there. Sorry, Everson Pereira, Stat Tracker insert. Purple Shimmer Prospect, Blake Rutherford. Now we've seen it before. We've seen guys double up within a case with some colors. So nice to get the base auto early and leaves us the opportunity at least here. Let's see if we can get a numbered autograph on the board as well. Pull the old uh, Levi Kelly from case number one. With two purple autos. So it is possible. Blue Refractor Prospect. Mike Ciani. I'm back at it. 126 of 150. Auto base prospect autograph. Yo, Yogo. Back at it for the Yondi's Gomez spot. Got one in case number one, I believe. Got one in number three. Add to it here. Base prospect auto. Refractor base set rookie. Radderall. 297 out of 499. There we go. Congrats on this one. Nikki Solak. Duran, Don of Glory. Last pack of box number one, case number four. Laura, Stat Tracker. Box number two. All right, so a little base auto box to start it there. Uh, Vanasco and Yogo. Blue Refractor. Nice. Nice Ronald. Little action on the Cunha spot here. 68 out of 150. Beautiful. Frank Packard. Base prospect auto. Back at it. We did get him. Yeah, did get a base auto on him in the last case. Congrats there. Jesus and Bobichet base rookies. Kirby.
Green Shimmer. Al Zule Base. Randy. <laughs> Prospect Green Shimmer. Keone. Back at it. Kabako. Sixty nine out of ninety nine Chatham AFL Prospect. Alec Manoa stat tracker insert. Right, let's see what we got here. Purple prospect Aurelvis. Nice Aurelvis Martinez. 250 out of 250 on the purple refractor. Julio and Wander. Refractor to 499 Prospect Refractor Autograph coming up. Boom! There we go. Nice. And Hello Cunha. I got the base auto in the last case to get on the board. Hello. A little refractor action here to 499 That's uh, 142 out of 499 on this one. All right. Nice first numbered auto to start this case. Savvy, can't get the Corey Ray spot on the board for you here. Let's see if we can get a nice, let's see if we can make up for it. Obviously at this point, probably not going to get the quantity. Let's see if we can make up with a nice quality low number hit for you. There's Jeremiah. All right, we are on the board. Prospect Refractor to 499. Sorry that took so long. And see if we can certainly add to it now. 345 out of 499. Brian. Danny, yeah. Well, it's a tough spot because if we don't get it, it's a pretty big hole on the uh, Cunha Jr. spot. Or a Cunha. We said hella Cunha. You got say it right. <clears throat> so, certainly nice to fill in that spot. Solak. Perdomo. Huff and Possum, base prospects. Box number three. Well, I know Lou Bob autograph is tough, but it'd be nice if we can get a nice at least parallel on the board. And ideally, I'd like to see a redemption autograph that says Bowman Chrome Rookie Autograph. Followed by like, you know, Orange Refractor, Louis Roberts, or something like that. g -Lux Base. Oh, double Lacuna. Nice. No, I haven't seen anything really on the first three cases. There we go. Blue Refractor and a purple. 97 out of 250 on this one. Dylan Cease, Francisco, all right, back on the board for the Alvarez spot. Did pick up a base autograph in that third case, and to it here as well. Congrats. Glen Allen Hill Jr. Yeah, right. I would I would think they'd hook the family up with at least a couple of base otters or something, but they're like, no, you can buy it in this product. You should have told Ricky to stash a few on the side. <laughs> Wait, you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> I'm 
sure Tops wouldn't take too kindly to that, but uh, they should do something for the family. Uh, they should have some kind of package or something. Brandon Malone, Purple Shimmer. O'Neill Cruz, AFL Prospect. Okay, Stat Tracker Atomic Refractor coming up. Number to 150, Everson Pereira. That's the Amazon truck. <laughs> Makes its entry here. <clears throat> 51 out of 150 for the Pereira spot. Gold Shimmer. Well, I certainly am going to keep an eye out if we pull, or if I pull anything myself, Richard, certainly keep in touch on that bow. On the rarer, rarer colors, of course, I won't bother you with the lower stuff. Devin Mann. Back at it for the man spot. I think we had a refractor auto early, had a base autograph, last case, I believe, and add a blue, true blue, 39 out of 150. Refractor from the base set, Anthony K, rookie refractor to four ninety nine. Nico, Nico. There it is. Cardenas, Dawn of Glory. Julio Rodriguez, AFL prospect. Careful. Will Wilson, AFL. Dominguez, base prospect. Box number four. Coming up. Vogelberg, Daniel Vogelbach, refractor out of four ninety nine. Refractor coming up, Kyle Lewis, rookie refractor autograph, Christian Koss. Back on the board, I think we got a couple of base autographs on him. And add a refractor here. 55 out of 499. Jordan Alvarez, base rookie. Purple Shimmer Prospect Refractor, Royce Lewis, back at it. We got one of these on him on the other case as well. Again, although not numbered, we see anywhere from 9 to 12 per case, so I usually say average of 10. Certainly can take a while to come around on those. O'Neill Cruz, AFL Prospect, Bobby.
refractor. <coughs> refractor to 499, Ryan Castellani. Castellani, excuse me. He did get the red shimmer prospect to 10 in, uh, I think it was the second case. Congrats there. Stat Tracker Autograph. Put it on the board for the Alvaro Seja spot. So that's cool. Double numbered box on this one with the refractor costs Seja to 99. 33 of 99. Purple Prospect out of 250. Dalton Varsho. Forty-five out of two fifty gets the partial spot on the board. I don't think we've seen a shimmer on him yet either. Nico. Charlie Base. Cardina, Star of Glory. Again. Julio Rodriguez, AFL prospect. Pache, Chrome. Russian rookie. All right, box number five coming up. Two refractor autos, a blue, and an insert to ninety-nine. We're looking to break through gold or better in this case. Love you, long, long time. <laughs> Michael, we were just talking about it. Just talking, we want to see a redemption that says Bowman Chrome Rookie. Then we're on to it. But in the meanwhile, see if we can get you a nice rookie parallel. I do see a lot of parallels, so we should have a good chance of running into one, but I haven't seen one on him yet. Andre Munoz out of 150 on this one. 132 of 150. Base autograph. Taylor Jones back at it. I think we need to get him in the first case. I'll go back and check, but uh. Do you recall Taylor Jones, Jordan Brewer? I think we saw them in the first batch. Back on the board. Cards are us. Um, no max in this case yet. Uh, we did get the. We've seen two base autos on him so far. So looking to get him on the board here, in this case, number 4 for you, with some color. Gavin Lux, base rookie. Luis Robert, base rookie. Gold Shimmer. Prospect Refractor coming up. Keegan Aiken, 3 out of 50 on the Gold Shimmer. I think we got a Green Shimmer on him earlier. Tyler Stevenson. Let's see what we get on this half. Nico, base rookie. Purple. Nice Tony G. Got the refractor Tony G to 499 at the purple here. 231 out of 250. Man. 
purple refractor Marcano back end. You know, he did get a purple in the first case. So second purple. And we did squeeze in a base autograph for them as well. So looking pretty good on the Marcano spot with these. 84 out of 250. Purple number two. Pulling the old uh, Levi Kelly on us, but just in different cases. Boharski. Dylan filed on a glory prospect. JM, Jordan, Jordan Yamamoto, AFL prospect Victor Victor Mesa with a pretty big dimple, print dimple on this one. Just a heads up, apologies on that one. Last pack of box number five, case number four. Tony V. Box number six, came out. Refractor from the base set. Rookie refractor. Advert. Alzole, 282 out of 499. Prospect. Auto, there's some more Max for you. Cards are us. You know, albeit they've been all base autographs. Got them on the board three times. Congrats. Good sir. And got a little room here. See if we can add number four. But nice count, indeed. On. Stat track. I was thinking, you know, I was thinking a big, big blue bob would really go well at this point. Just saying, he would look good in a red refractor. That one we would see live. The red refractor redemption we wouldn't see live, but red refractor live rookie, that'd be something to shoot for. Nico Nico, Joe Adele, oh, got the little print dimple on him here as well. Laura Base Prospect. So we pulled a red auto, we pulled a red shimmer prospect to 10. Yeah, let's go red refractor here. Dalton Jeffries, Kyle Lewis Base Rookie, Dalton Jeffries Purple to 250. Zolak, Andrew Dahlquist, back on the board for the Dahlquist spot. Did find a base autograph earlier, and has number two on this one. Hiram, I think it's one of your guys too, right? I think so. All right, congrats there.
Kevin Smith, Dawn of Glory, Batty and Possum again. Beer. Gosh, get the print dimples in effect on these here. Sorry about that. Just noticing them. Primarily on the AFL stuff. Last few AFL prospects. Lazardo. Bobby Wood Jr. Stat Track. The token auto. <laughs> Gotcha. Looking for the Curtis Carey Autos. Well, let's see, we started it with a Ricky. Got the Acuna Refractor. Let's see if we can wake up Mr. Terry Curtis for you there, good sir. Tristan Lutz Green, 77 out of 99. Base rookie, Zach Watson, base autograph. Got a blue auto, I believe, in that first case. First or second. First base auto for the Watson spot. Back on the board. Congrats. Jason Dominguez, base prospect. More gore. Doyle. Gavin Lux, Gratterall rookies, Luch, Marco Luciano. You know, it reminds me, we haven't seen uh, Louis Matos as well. He's a pretty, pretty significant spot that we haven't seen an auto on as well. Zero, just a little something if we can add it here. Nice on the Luch, gets them a purple shimmer. Dylan Cease, Luis Robert, Duran, AFL Prospect. Hiram, super red and green on Huff. Hmm. Let me check on him. Sejas? No, the green would be retail, right? Are we talking from, uh, are we talking, um, Huff from Bowman with his first Bowman auto, or are you talking Huff from the prospect, uh, autos from this insert auto? Either way, keep an eye out for them there. Refractor from the base set, Kettle Marte. Three twenty-four of four ninety-nine. More base prospect. Here we go. Hey now. Gold refractor coming up. And it looks like it's on the rookie auto side here. Gold rookie auto. So my goal. Probably not gonna get it on the Lubob here. Looking for the redemption on him, but good luck to the other spots here. Rookie gold put on the board at a fifty. Alright, solid auto for the Brennan McKay spot. Congrats here. 18 out of 50. Little BMAC. Congrats indeed. Bolt, a little stat track. Um, e 
Yeah. Uh, well, it got a blue Ronald and a purple Ronald in the in the last case, right? Or was it this case? It was this case? All the parallels. See them coming up here. Same. Dawn of Glory. Luis Garcia, AFL Prospect. Adley, old boy. All right, interesting box there with the uh, Brendan McKay Gold Refractor Rookie. Yeah, any other Donna Glory autographs? We haven't, we haven't seen one. Oh my goodness, twenty eight eighty one for a Donna Glory? Oh, that's absurd. I know they're low numbered, but man, that's like twenty cases, brah. Holy Jesus! Right, maybe I shouldn't have looked at those odds. All right, good luck. Refractor from the base set, rookie Adrian Mariho. 466 out of 499 on this one. Tyler Ivey. All right, back at it. I think we got him in uh, case number one. I'll be at a base autograph. Add to it here. Back on the board. Nico, base, rookie, shoemaker, stat tracker, insert. Green Shimmer, prospect coming up to 99. Kyle Muller, 49 of 99. Uh, yeah, we I think we got the gold on him. I think I think we've seen the gold shimmer. Here's the green. Well, I mean, right? Remember, guys, Ronald Acuna back in 2017 Bowman. Who was it? Uh, Chris, uh, the other kid, not Acuna. Kevin Mateen, Mateen, right? That's how you say it. Kevin Mation, Mateen, whatever you say his name is. He was outselling Acuna by a little bit uh, when that product opened. And obviously, those guys have gone different paths, one completely the other way. Um, but yeah, right? So pricing can quickly change as a guy develops or exceeds his um, expectations. Hey, now, what do we got here? Orange Refractor. AFL Prospect Relic. Wow, Andre Jimenez taking them both down. Got the Jimenez in the last case. The standard. Here's the nice orange refractor patch parallel. The Scorpions, AFL Scorpions. Cool deal. I don't think we pulled an orange on these yet. So nice little AFL double up for the Jimenez spot. Congrats. Oh, right, so we got this mini here. Keone. Well, I just turned it on of late. That's our third Kabako parallel that I can remember, at least in the last case and a half now. 208 out of 499. Where's Chris? Minnesota Twins. 
Sorry, I missed your comment there earlier, Chris, in uh, the first case I saw afterwards. So, a little Twinkies action in commemoration of Mr. Chris there. We'll see you next time. Peace. Bonus chat. Seth Gray. We did get color, right? He did get a color on Seth Gray. I think it was a blue. He got one of the blue autographs in that first case, if I'm not mistaken. Add a base autograph here. Cool red flare. Stat Tracker Atomic Refractor, Daniel Spino, numbered out of 150. Nice parallel for the Spino spot here. Always nice on the Atomics. 47 out of 150. Jesus, Randy, base rookies. Joe Ryan, down of glory. Ran over! <laughs> the glory is all but ran over. <laughs> well, what's the old saying every spring, right? Every spring, hope, hope springs eternal. That's the plan, at least. Joey Bart, AFL prospect. Last pack of box number eight, case and number four. Base. So Seth Green, Tyler Ivy. On those. Box number nine. Come on. Dylan Cease. Toro rookies. Purple from the base set. Jose Barrios. Chris! Some more Minnesota Twinkies action. 209 out of 250 on the Barrios. Autograph. Refractor to 499 prospect Pepio. There we go. I think we've seen a base autograph on him in case number one. Add a refractor autograph to 499. 319 of 499 on the pet. Pepio. Pache. Stat tracker insert. Tristan Lutz, back at it. Purple Shimmer. Andrew, how goes it, good sir? Welcome aboard. Roger, hey, we did get a parallel finally. Albeit it's the uh, Prospect Refractor. We did get Jeremiah to four ninety nine in this case. Let me give you a look at him here. Got him a little, I think, rather earlier in the case. There he is. So we do get him three forty five out of four ninety nine. Apologies, it took that long to get the refractor. Let's see if we can add to it here down the stretch. Three and a half plus the bonus mini. Cabello, stat tracker. Green, coming up. Green prospect out of 99. Sixto, 71 of 99. 
blue sleeve's got some spunk on it there. Oh, I got a bad run on those. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yeah, it seems like it's fixed there. Yeah, a little tougher on the refractor, seeing we see like six, seven, eight prospect refractors per case. So definitely a nicer hit. Now, it would be cool if we could answer that for you as well here. Gulak, good sir. Ooh, I'm not going to say it, but Michael, come on, one time. One time. Stat Tracker. Okay, that's different. Stat Tracker Orange Autograph Redemption here. To 25. Good luck on this one. Blazovic. That's right. I remember he was a redemption. Jordan Blazovic taking it down. Congrats. Tough hit on the Stat Tracker. Even harder on the orange there. Beautiful to 25. So, cool deal. We're seeing some color here. We got the Gold McKay Rookie Autograph. Blazovic Orange to 25 on the Redemption here. Let's see if we can add another color. Red. Or did we get orange on the insert? Maybe we could still add a gold prospect or a gold... A gold or orange prospect. Still not out of the question here. Tony G. Riley Green Stat Track. Okay, Apostle, not a glory. Spencer Howard, AFL prospect. Lux, Luis Robert, base. Lazar, stat tracker. To get the base auto on him in this case, see if we can add to it as well for you there. Right, box number 10. Yeah, Andrew, if you're just joining, we pulled a pretty sick uh, Baron Laura uh, red refractor autograph. Monster hit. So, pretty cool because the first two cases were pretty upside down. Nice to see a big, big hit come through. And let's see if we can add one more. Refractor from the base. Rookie refractor. Rookie refractor variation. So nice hit for the Aquino spot on this one. Image variation SP. Uh, no, I have not pulled this one either. We pulled the Kyle Lewis in the first case, or which was the third case, excuse me. Add the Aquino variation here. Raza, back at it. Oswald. And we did get the base to get him on the board in the other case. Add to it on this one. There we go. Jordan, base rookie. Lindau, stat tracker insert. Purple Shimmer, prospect, coming up. Aquino base, Usnel Diaz. Kyle Lewis, Ruby. Tyler Stevenson. God, Tyler Stevenson's been a prospect for a few years now, hasn't he? Refractor from the base set. Rookie refractor. Bobby Bradley. 
to four ninety nine. Congrats, Bobby. Andrew, yeah. Yeah, we were talking about it. The Red Shimmer sold for 91 So I figure the Red True Red's got to be a little bit up there. Randy. Oh, got a little bit more Texas Ranger maybe action in this one still. Randy Florentino. Did get him on the board with a base autograph in uh, case number three. Add the base auto here, number four. Yeah, that's the bad boy right there. And right, who knows, who knows, upon his rookie year, if he is tearing it up, as would be expected for a top prospect like that, maybe. Um, certainly, that thing has got some potential, especially maybe where the Rangers are going to be at. Hopefully, if, if, if the Rangers' rebuild coincides with his come up, you know, that thing could be monstrous. Or really, for any of the prospects right now coming up, if it coincides well, right? Timing wise. Thought of Glory, Dylan File. Yeah, Jeffrey, yeah. <laughs> I would put that on my license plate. Or <laughs> I was hoping for color, but oh well. <laughs> well, what were we saying? It is better to have hit a base than not to have hit a base. Little Shakespearean cardboard there. <laughs> Trent Grisham. All right, final two boxes come up, and then we do have the bonus mini. Let's see if we can get a numbered auto on the back side of that one. Yeah, and circumstances aside, that thing could grade, right? If that thing grades. A BGS 95 Gem Mint or better, or a PSA 10. That's going to kick it up with certainly a, a nice degree of value as well. Blue Prospect Refractor to 150. Vidal Brujan, 117 of 150. Yeah, right? And I tell people too, right? Prices, you might get a little bummed because you see some of your card values going down. Use it as an opportunity to restock, right? A lot of lot of the prices are going to be ripe for a good profit. If you buy right in the off-season and sell in the right time during the season, very much so. Very a lot of opportunity in that regard. Anthony K. Case in point, I bought a few Seeger graded cards before, like in July, end of July. And man, I look back now and I'm like super happy. They're up like three, four times what, what I bought them for in uh, just a couple months ago. Obviously, circumstances are right with him right right now. Anthony K. Get on the board. Rookie autograph. Same thing I was noting with this stuff in the off season. Bowman Chrome usually gets to a point where it bottoms out on price. So if you guys are looking to pick up some boxes or something like that, baseball-wise, I'd keep an eye on prices over the next four to six weeks, probably right around there. That's probably where you'll see the historical low price on a lot of these products, because once we get into Christmas, past Christmas, things start to tick up uh, on the pricing a little bit, even especially, especially more so after we get past the Super Bowl. Perdomo. Purple Shimmer. It's the Bobby Witt base, sorry. Bobby Witt base prospect out of Francisco Alvarez. Yeah, Roger, great point there. Jared Walsh 2019 update, right? Nobody. People sleeping on him, and he was a he was a difference maker with the Angels making a comeback there. I mean, he really 
I mean, if he's a plug-in at the two spot in that lineup, and he does what he does, man, that's a nice find for the Angels there. Wish they would have had him implemented into the lineup a few weeks before they did. Uh, right, the first few weeks re really cost them their season there, unfortunately. Same thing with 2019 Tops update Will Smith as well. That's his flagship true rookie in Tops update. That one's going to have some good carry as well. He's really making a name for himself. Jay Groom. 499 out of 499. He doesn't have a lot of rookies as well, Will Smith does. So, so that 2019 update kind of really is a good one, I think, long term. I think he had, like, he had Topps Update rookies. He had Bowman's Best rookies few other products in there that are just kind of marginal, but yeah, that one, I think, long-term is a goodie. Bobochette and Nico. Nico Holzer. Did get a base auto on Nico. What was it in this case? No, it was in the last case. And back at here for the Nico spot. Oh, very cool. Yeah, Topps Chrome Will Smith, too. I forgot about his Topps Chrome. That's his other big one there. But outside of the Topps Chrome, I think his Topps Update has a real good chance at being one of those uh, one of those ones that really takes off. I got to go back and dig through my base because I didn't, didn't really anticipate, like, grading his... I mean, maybe just a few, but, like, there's a bunch now. I'll go back and try to pick out for some grading on him. Sweetly. Durant, Dawn of Glory. Last pack of box number 11. Laura, stat tracker insert. All right, let's get the last mini bonus. All right, box number 12 coming up. Bonus mini on deck. Uh, yeah, who did we get? We did get it here. Uh, I forgot. Aquino. That's who it was. Aristides. There he is. Did pop through on the variation, Mr. Aquino. We have seen some cases with two variations, but I don't think we've hit it more than one on this batch. Mini on bottom on deck. Yeah, Taylor Ward really did turn it around, and I, I was high on him too. He just had his struggles, as did most of the, most of the young guys. But yeah, it'd be nice to see you get a turn and get some contributions out of those out of those guys moving forward, especially Matt Thice to some extent seemed to turn it around a little bit. Yeah, really, Angels were one of those teams where it's like, well, I wonder what, what, what would have been if it would, would have been a 162-game season because they were just starting to kind of figure it out and putting up pretty respectable numbers down the final month, final 30 games. Gallon, base rookie, refractor. All right, there's the second one. We just did get a second. AJ Puck, image variation short print, number two in this case. See a little bit of a roller on this one, just a heads up. Faint roller marks right over the shoulders on that. It's tough because the card's so clear that it's gonna pop through more more so than a card that has a darker background. So nice variation there for the AJ Puck spot.
Well, as we've seen with the playoffs, the more pitching, the better. So have at it, right? I would uh, definitely stockpile as much as can be. Luan Diaz on the base prospect autograph. Real nice to see Bundy solidify. I mean, even if it's for a year going forward, just to know what you got at the top of the rotation there is going to be nice to start next year, and then you can kind of fill that in. Griffin Canning did have a nice step forward as well, kind of a comeback a little bit from his injury, kind of slow start. But yeah, definitely going to have to add to it, and it's going to be a tough dilemma where and how to add. So they're going to have to go to the trade market, no doubt, I'd imagine. So curious to see what all happens, right? What do we got? Winter meetings coming up over the next few months, so definitely expect them to be players somehow on some kind of pitching. But really, if they can hit on another Bundy type of acquisition, I mean, that's a top, basically got a top line starter off the heap scrap and that's you know you need those you need those kind of moves to hit so we shall see Joe with LAFL prospect oh boy three hundo on a hobby box what would you go with that's a good question these days Kyle Muller, refractor to 499. You know, I've always been a sucker for the safe play. I always think Tops Update is a safe play because you get so many decent rookies, and all you need is a few of those to be high grade to really have the box kind of pay off. I and mean, if you hit like a monster parallel on some of those rookies, I think Tops Update's a real good product, even though 2018's up there because of Acuna. 2019's still rather in range. It's like 120, 140 a box on the hobby. And there's a lot of good stuff in that. Bear and Laura. I mean, but then, of course, if you want to go a little more risky, you do the Bowman Crow. Got some stuff in there that's going to be certainly high end, but it's tough to hit. Gunner Mayer. But as far as like spending your money and like getting a good deal of it, like safely back, Tops updates are usually a pretty safe bet. It's not as exciting. You got a lot more paper in it, but usually the value is very saturated. Sterling is super fun. And you know what? Bowman Sterling, that's a good uh, Terrier cards. It's a good, uh, good recommendation. Bowman Sterling has a lot of... The autograph checklist on Bowman Sterling is really good. A lot of the autographs are first-year prospects, so they're going to carry really good value as those first-year Bowmans rise. The Sterling autographs will carry in tow right behind them to some extent. So uh, even if not from a breaking standpoint, I think Bowman Sterling prospect autographs are a good investment at the right price. So I definitely want to compare where the first Bowman's at and where the prospect Sterling autographs have been at and where you can get them. But you usually see a good markup on those. Same thing with the Bowman's best prospect autographs. Once the prospect kind of explodes, their first Bowman takes off, then Sterling and Bowman best prospect autographs carry into and Usually they're had at, had at a cheap, cheap enough price to where it makes it well worth the investment, in my opinion. All right, well, that was the end of that one there. So let's see if we can get a little bonus mojo. Good luck. And do you thank everyone again for hanging out and watching today's breaks. We have the base. Base autograph, Ricky Venasco in the other half. So hoping we got a Colorado on this half. Although there are some base autograph boxes. So let's see what we got. And good luck. All right. Gold refractor coming up. Let's see what we got. Boom! Hey, <laughs> nice gold bonus autograph. Drew Avance. Put it on the board. Solid. 21 out of 50. Congrats to the Avant spot. And excellent. I'm just excited to see color. So <laughs> I just didn't want to do a base autograph. So at least nice value going back to the Avant spot in that one. Solid. 21 out of 50.
Jeff, yeah, exactly. So those autos are going to be uh, same thing with Bowman's best. Bowman's best prospect autographs. They come out and they're saturated because there's a lot of a lot of Bowman's best get ripped. Um, I remember my Gavin Lux Bowman's best Gavin Lux autographs could be bought at an auction for like four dollars, seven dollars, eight dollars, eleven dollars. I look back at some of the ones I did buy on him. It got to a point where I'm like, I got like thirty or forty of them. I'm good. But yeah, patience. Maybe more so with those, but in the long term, once they debut, you'll see a nice pickup on them. And let's just get a parallel to finish it off here. Savail. Especially because they got you got nice big hit potential in the in the Sterling as well with Jason Dominguez stuff, Luis Roberts stuff. So there, it's a nice product. And you do get back a good value, bit of value with the five autographs, the parallels, even the base sterling, right? You get you get one one or two good base sterling prospect or rookies that can be graded. Turns into a nice little return there. Or again, last pack of this one. Certainly appreciate everyone again for hanging out, watching, and joining. Jordan, base rookie. William Contreras, prospect refractor to 499. Three eighty-three out of four ninety-nine. All right, we'll see how this did shake out here. Uh, case number four. Colored auto. So this was from the bonus box. Did get orange on the Blazvik insert, gold on the McKay. So nice, but did go gold orange in some formation in that last case, and a bonus gold. Sakuni in that case. All right, well, from the top, lowest numbered autograph, case number four, Jordan Blazovic, stat tracker, prospect auto to 25. Gold refractor rookie autograph. Brendan McKay from the bonus mini, Drew Avans, gold refractor prospect autograph, 21 out of 50. Stat tracker. Insert autograph, 33 out of 99, Alvaro Cejas. Devin Mann, Blue Refractor Prospect, 39 out of 150. Marcano, had a pretty solid one. Two purple autos, one in the first, one in the last case here. Congrats there. And had a base auto in between. Solid Angel Acuna in this one. 142 out of 499. Koss and Pepio, the other Refractor autographs. Yeah, double, triple autographs. The Sterling first sign autographs are super cool, although tough on the veteran inserts. So that, there's a lot of nice ways to come out on that product. I would agree. Very nice on the Sterling, especially with the checklist. They could have watered it down with a lot of second-year guys, guys that were in other products. There's really not a lot of second-year guys. Most of the autographs are, are guys with their first, first Bowman auto just in this last Bowman or Bowman draft or something like that. So essentially, they're still first-year prospects. Well, that's right. Did get another Jimenez on the AFL relic here. Orange Refractor, Arizona Fall League, Fall Stars Game Relic, patch 9 out of 25. Congrats. Base autographs. Base autographs from case number 4. Mayer, Diaz, Nico, Anthony K. Rookie, Randy Florentino, Peraza, Gray, Ivy, Watson, Dahlquist, Lazar, Taylor Jones, Francisco Alvarez, Packard, Yogo, Ricky Venasco. Numbered parallels. Let's separate everything here. We'll go over. Two variations in this case. Kino and Puck there. Oh, 
All right, parallel recap. So the lowest numbered parallels were Gold Shimmer, Keegan Aiken, 3 out of 50. Gold Refractor, Tanner Hawk, 32 out of 50. Did have a few green refractors on the board here. Two solid green prospect refractors, Tristan Lutz, Sixto Sanchez. Two green shimmer prospect refractors, Kyle Muller and Kiyomi Kabako. Blues to 150. Four total. Two from the base set, rookie Andre Munoz and Ice Cunha. Purple and blue combo on the Acuna spot in this case. Atomic Refractor inserts. Daniel Espino stat tracker, 47 of 150. Everson Pereira as well, 51 of 150. Atomic. Blue, oh, I forgot the blue refractor prospects here. Blue refractor prospects, Vidal Brujan and Mike Ciani. Purple. Three from each subset. Three refractor purples from the base set. Tony G. Jose Barrios. Ronald. And three purple refractor prospects here. Again, numbered out of 250 each. Or Elvis Martinez. Dalton Jeffries. Dalton Varsho. Refractors numbered to 499. Let's separate base set real quick from the prospects. Base set refractors, we had a total of seven. Vogelbach, Anthony K, Bruiser Gratterall, Bobby Bradley, Adrian Marion, Marion, excuse me, Kettle Marte, and Al Zoli. A lot of rookie refractors in there. Michael, apologies, we couldn't get one on the Lou Bob spot for you there. Prospect refractors, six of them here to four ninety nine. Castellan, Jeremiah. Contreras, Muller, Jay Groom, last one there, and Keone. Not numbered, but we did get two variation short print rookie refractors, Aristides Aquino and AJ Puck. Purple Shimmer Prospects. We had nine in this case. I think we averaged like, we had 12 in another, we had 11. Uh, I forget the other, but nine here. So anywhere from between nine and twelve purple shimmers per case, depending on how the other parallels fall. Sixto, Perdomo, Diaz, Lutz, Marcano, Jesus Sanchez, Royce Lewis, Malone, Blake Rutherford. Quick check. Yes, it is. All right, gang. That is going to get us to and through the end of this one. Daniel, oh, sorry, man. We had a rough one for you on the Jake Rogers spot, too, in Topps Chrome. It's like we hit every other Tiger like three or four times, and we got the lone autograph on him for you. So sorry for the rough one there, man, over the weekend as well. Appreciate you joining both breaks there. Do be on the lookout. We'll definitely try to pad the back of that order for you with a few extras to help, hopefully. But, yeah, golf clap, golf clap. Aaron Laura, Jeremy, red refractor prospect autograph. Well done, good sir. Indeed, biggest hit of the Bowman Chrome breaks, any of them so far here on the Bayron Laura Red Super Monster hit. So that's kind of what we're hunting for. See if we can do something like that next time around. Do be on the lookout. Uh, we are listing a Bowman Chrome HTA, HTA 4 case player break, auto spots only. Those auctions will end on Saturday night, and we all break on Sunday, Sunday afternoon. So come on by, check them out. Should be a quick one on the HTA being a, a four case. There shouldn't be too much more than an hour break on that one. Again, that's autographs only, three cards per box on the HTA jumbo or HTA choice boxes. And we'll certainly look to circle back and do maybe another Bowman Chrome hobby break here in a couple of weeks. So do be on the lookout. You know, might be around Halloween time, as a matter of fact. Now I'm looking at the calendar. If not. Saturday, Halloween's on a Saturday. It might be just after Halloween, so be on the lookout. We'll try to circle back and do another Chrome Hobby Break as well. All right, gang. That's going to wrap on this one. Indeed. Congrats to the Laura spot. 
Congrats on a few other spots. That's some nice hits indeed. Uh, Purple Pena, Acuna Base, and Refractor kind of helped out at the end there. It's definitely missed on the motto spots. So if we had some big, li bigger hitless spots as well. So be on the lookout there as well on the backside of those spots. David, how goes it? Good sir, indeed. Yeah, had a rough one on the weekend on the top scroll for you too. So apologize on that one, good sir. Appreciate you guys joining. Nonetheless, certainly hope everybody does enjoy the rest of their Monday evening, Monday night out there. Certainly hope to see you guys and gals at some of the up-and-coming breaks. Uh, just a reminder, we do have a Chronicles Baseball. Two case, 32 boxes of Chronicles. Those auctions end Wednesday. We'll be breaking on Thursday. And again, the Bowman Chrome HTA 4 caser. Those auctions end on Saturday night. We'll break on Sunday afternoon, Sunday. Uh, 12 noon Pacific, I believe, starting at 3 p.m. Eastern for the 4 case HTA. Big thanks to everybody in the chat as well. Certainly appreciate the company. Appreciate the uh, chat as well. Uh, Richard, uh, Terrier Card Breaks, Jeff, Daniel, David, Philip as well, Keith as well, good sir. And Keith, we'll follow up with you a, uh, ASAP as soon as we get some info here. We'll follow up. We'll get that corrected on the shipment as well for you. Andrew as well, thanks for stopping on by. Roger, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for taking a stab at the uh, Jeremiah Jackson spot as well. Carl, my man. Wander Franco getting called up? Or are they adding him to the to the uh, World Series roster? That's in interesting. I don't think I've seen. I don't know. I gotta look it up. Rookie that's debuted in the World Series. Last time that happened. I'm not sure. That's gonna be interesting. Wow. Let me take a look at that. Jeff M. Both Jeff M's as well. Thanks for hanging out, uh, Mr. Murray as well. Other Jeff M. Thanks for hanging out, for joining us for the first time as well. Certainly appreciate having you guys aboard. Brando as well. Hiram, my man on the Rangers. Danny as well. Thank you, good sir. Appreciate the contributions and the assists. Make sure I don't miss on anybody. BJA Auction Online as well. Thank you, good sir. BJ, BJA Auction Online .com. There we go. Mark A as well. Brett C. Nate. Nathan as well. Thank you, good sir. Francis as well, north of the border there. Crazy Piggy. Thanks again for stopping on in. All right, gang, that's going to wrap it on this one. Hope everybody does have a good week ahead here. We should have this one ready to ship here rather quickly. So what's today, Monday? Guys will probably take most of tomorrow to work on these. Start to see some shipping notifications on this break for you guys Wednesday, Wednesday morning. Um, should have all orders in the mail by Thursday, but most should be packaged up on Wednesday. So we'll keep an eye out for those. We'll have tracking updates updated on eBay as well as emailed to you as well. Any questions or concerns, as always, please feel free to shoot us a message through eBay. Do try to get back to you guys and gals within 24 hours. Until then, do take care, and we'll see you guys and gals at the next break.